Now, Prince Harry's lawyers have been in the High Court today to challenge a Home Office decision that he's no longer entitled to have armed police guards when he visits Britain. Joining me now is Royal Commentator Kinsey Schofield. Good afternoon to you, Kinsey. Hi. Hi. Another Prince Harry story between um, you and I. Imagine that happening. I mean, it's always such a surprise because he's never in the news. Um, these cases keep coming up and he's suing everyone left, right and centre. Interestingly, he's now the King's son going to the courts to challenge a decision by the, the King's government, His Majesty's government, in, in the courts, you know, effectively, you know, the, the King's court about, about his own security. You know, it's not that he's not entitled to any royal security. It's just that it's, it's, it's not automatic when he comes to Britain. There'll be a security assessment. But on what basis is he arguing that the, the latest High Court decision on this is wrong? That's right. So he's saying uh, the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures that, that he's challenging, there's an individual on that committee that he has a history with. So that's why he's able to challenge it in this particular case. I mean, the reality is, um, I don't think he's going to be successful in this, in, in, in this additional bid. I think that they... I think it's fair that they look it over, knowing that they, he has a history with someone on the committee. Um, but unfortunately for you, you, the taxpayers are paying for all of this chaos. And you're you're right. When he does visit, when in a royal capacity, whether it's something like a funeral or the coronation, he does have this this special security. He only doesn't have these privileges when he comes over yeah, for personal Matt, reasons you because he word, quit his see, job. Kinsey, no, I'm sorry, but this thing, if he does does need security because he's at the Queen's funeral or attending the King's coronation. By definition, we're saying at some point he is a target. Seems to me, look, he, whether or not he's a working royal or not, I'm not entirely sure that Islamist terrorists really care about that. As far as they're concerned, he's a royal prince. He fought in Afghanistan uh, against Islamic State. I'm sorry, I think that he is, against Al-Qaeda, I think he is a target through no fault of his own, the job he's done and who his parents were. And I think if he is ever in need, in need of royal of security, I think he should be entitled to it. And I'm not a Harry and Meghan fan, but the right to stay alive and keep your kids safe. And they say, look, we can have armed protection in America, but our people don't have the access, they don't get the information here, they can't carry their weapons here, that, that we don't feel safe. I think he's got a point. I mean, but he did, he, you said to no fault of his own, but he did go in his book Spare and brag about how many kills he had. That's not something you should do if you're concerned about your own security and, and the protection no, that of your was, family. That was a dumb thing to do, but I, I don't think he was bragging. He said how many kills. Now, apparently that's not what military people do, but he was fighting for our, he was fighting for, you know, on behalf of our country. I, I, and if he's right. a target because of that, I think we should protect him. Well, I do think you're in the the minority, <laughs> and to hear you to hear you talk about it, I actually am I'm surprised because you and I usually clash about royalty. So I guess I'm I'm taken a little aback by. He's it. a royal. He's a royal I, prince who did something useful. I think we should applaud that. <laughs> but do you think he is actually yeah. under threat? I mean, I'm guessing these people, like many people in the problem, you know, the public eye, get threats every day. Well, here, here in the States, he's had several incidents at his Montecito home. Um, I believe he was actually in the UK one time not too long ago when there was an individual that was arrested on his property trespassing. Mm. So there are circumstances uh, that prove that people are, are you know, I don't, I don't want to say they're threatening him, but there are certainly people that have been hanging around that shouldn't be there. And I know that he has always been concern for his yeah. family safety that's one of the biggest issues they had during the oprah interview um so i i think that taxpayers have an issue with it but maybe if they hear someone like you explaining <laughs> it as eloquently as you did well wow. uh, they might have more of an open heart <laughs> to, to thank for that thank you very much indeed royal commented there live from the states a very quick word from tom stage on this look you know, the, the argument i think that he's how he's using his court lawyers he is look actually there were members of the royal household mm -hmm. mate on the committee that made this decision about things that it was therefore biased but it seems to me this is just a matter does he or does he not face security threats in which case 
he should he should have it funded. I, I I do understand that. I think of all the things to be upset at Harry for being yes. concerned about his family safety, even though sometimes he can get a little bit paranoid in terms of how yeah. worried he is. You can understand I think if why. Your father he's had paranoid. died in those circumstances. I Precisely, think... and also because of the the profile that he's got. I get that um, he's particularly concerned, particularly when you come to the UK. Because in America, you might have private bodyguards; they can still be pretty heavily armed. Yeah. Um, whereas you come to the UK, unless you've got that police protection, you're not necessarily going to have that level of protection. So I think. Of all the things to be upset about Harry about, of all the court cases that he's yeah. bringing, this is probably yeah. definitely... But also the idea that, oh, well, he, he's, on, he's on royal duties, therefore he, he needs this security. Mm -hmm. He's not on royal duties, he's playing polo, he doesn't. I'm sure that that's exactly when people will strike. Mm -hmm. uh, it just seems to me, uh, it's, it's a crazy thing. The one thing, I, I hate being on the same side as Harry on anything. <laughs>